This is the duty roster which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got month and year. Months will be managed through drop downs. Currently, I have selected March. And on the right hand side, we can see Saturdays and Sundays as highlighted. If I select the current month, which is October, our highlights got changed. One thing to mention in advance. Suppose that I have done some entry over here. MS, Morning Shift, GS, General Shift, NS, Night Shift. Now if I change the month from the drop down, if I'll do this July, my entries are not going to be deleted. We will have to delete these manually. Just below months and years, we can see start and end date. Just below that, we have got all the details of the employees. When we come to right hand side, on the top, we can see the total summary of morning shift, general shift, evening shift and so on. So whatever entry will be done over here, NS night shift, we can see one. If I'll do this MS morning shift and GS general shift, we can see figures on top. When we come to right hand side, we have got total week offs, total leaves, total absconding, total break shift. So this roster is for the whole month. In case you want to check your daily roster, we have got second sheet that is check. Over here, we can see the shifts on daily basis. In this format, there will be total three sheets. First will be our duty roster. Second will be check. And third will be our setting sheet. In setting sheet, we have got our months, years, our shifts and shift codes. Let's come to duty roster and let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook and over here I have created the blank format. There's no formulas or functions right now. So I have taken all the three sheets, settings, duty roster and check. Let's come to duty roster and let's start creating the new format. This will be month and year. Start and end date will come down serial number, employee ID or employee code, employee name, designation, department. We'll go on top and we'll click just after month and year. We will create drop down for the months. We'll go to data tab. We'll come in the center, data tools. Inside data tools, we get the option of data validation. We'll select data validation. On the top, we can see three things, settings, input message and error alert. We have to go in settings. Over here, we can see allow and any value. We'll click on drop down and we'll select list. Source. I'll click on the right hand side and we'll go to my setting sheet and we'll select all the months from top to bottom. We'll go on top and we'll click on OK. So the drop down of months got created. We'll select January. We'll click just after January and we'll insert the current year that is 2025. Enter. In case you want to create the drop down, you can start and end date. Formula will be plus or equal to date value, bracket open, date text. The very first thing what we have to provide in date value is our date, but the date should be in text format. So I'll be inserting double inverted comma one, double inverted comma close. And now we will provide month. I'll click on January. And now we have to provide the year. So I'll click on 2025. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got our very first date. We'll click just after first date and we'll insert the formula for last date and formula will be plus or equal to EO month means end of the month bracket open start date. This is my start date comma months in months. I'll be providing zero. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the last date. We'll select both the dates and we'll press control one. We'll go to date. And we'll select a desired date format. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. Now our date format got changed. Now let's insert our dates. Formula for first date will be plus or equal to. We'll click on first date over here and we'll hit enter. We got hash error because cell size is small. Now we can see first Jan. Let's come to right hand side. We'll click just after first Jan. We'll increase the column size so that our formula will be visible properly. We'll go in home tab and we'll remove the cell color. We'll do as no fill and we'll change the text color. Let's insert the formula plus or equal to if bracket open, we'll click on very first date is 
smaller than last date of the month. I'm going to drag my formula. So I'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my last date will be logged, comma. If first date will be smaller than last date of the month, in return we want first date plus one, comma. And if this criteria is not going to meet, in return we want blank. So I'll be putting double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got some random figure. We'll select first date as well as second date and we'll press control one. We'll go to custom. We'll remove general from here and we'll put DD means D two times. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. Now we got first as well as second date as 0102. Now I'll click on first date. We'll go to home tab. Over here we get the option of format painter. We'll click on format painter and we'll click on second date. So we got the colors over here also. We'll select first as well as second date and we'll adjust the column size. We'll click just under first date and we'll insert the formula for day plus or equal to text bracket open value. In value, I'll be providing my first date, comma, format text, double inverted comma, D, D, D means D three times, double inverted comma, close, bracket close and I'll hit enter. And we got our very first day. We'll drag this in second date also. We'll click on second date and we'll select till bottom. And we'll drag this till 31st, means till last date of the month. We got all the dates. We'll go on top and we'll come in left hand side. We'll click just under first day. We'll put some text over here. We'll put as MS morning shift. We'll come to the bottom MS morning shift. We'll come to right. In last date also, I'll be inserting MS and over here also MS. I'm doing this just because I want to use my shortcuts. Let's come to left. Now I'll click on very first date. We'll press shift control, down arrow key, right arrow key. And all the dates got selected. We'll go to home tab. We'll come to right hand side, conditional formatting. We'll come down and we'll click on new rule. From here, I'll be selecting classic. In case you are using windows, you'll not be getting the option of classic. You'll be diverted to next step. And that is use a formula to determine which says to format. And the formula will be plus or equal to, we'll come to left and we'll click on very first day. Over here, my target is to highlight the whole column. So I'll remove the very first dollar. We'll come to the end is equal to double inverted comma S U N means Sunday, double inverted comma close. We'll take this in bracket. We'll come to the end. And we'll copy my formula. Control C or Command C. We are not going to copy is equal to. We'll come to the end. Plus, we'll paste my formula. Control V or Command V. Over here, I want to highlight Saturdays as well as Sundays. So in both the places, we can see Sunday. So I'll delete one Sunday and we'll put as Saturday. We'll click on drop down, customize format. On top, we can see four things number, font, border, and fill. We will be going in fill, background color, we can see no color. We'll click on drop down and we'll select red color. We'll go to font and we'll change the font color as white. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. OK. So all our Saturdays as well as Sundays got highlighted. We'll go on top. This will be morning shift, general shift, evening shift, night shift. Let's come to right hand side. Week offs. Leaves or total leaves, absconding, break shifts. We'll come to left and we'll click just after morning shift and we'll put my code that is MS, general shift, GS, evening shift, ES, night shift will be NS, whatever code you want to put you can, week offs, WO, total leaves, L, absconding will be AB, or A, whatever you want to put, you can. Break shifts, BS. We'll come to left. We'll click on very first date. We'll press shift control, down arrow key, right arrow key. We'll go on top. We'll go to home tab. We'll come to right hand side, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, 
will come to right hand side and will select equal to. We'll click over here and we'll type MS. MS is for morning shift. We'll click on drop down, customize format. We'll go to fill and from here I'll select yellow color. We'll go to font and we'll change the font color as black and we'll click on OK. OK. So our morning shifts got highlighted in yellow. We'll do as MS morning shift. It's getting highlighted. We'll click on very first date. We'll press shift control, down arrow key, right arrow key. We'll go on top. We'll go to home tab, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to and this time I'll type GS that is general shift. We'll click on drop down, customize format. We'll go to fill and from here I'll be selecting green color. Font color will be white. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. OK. So whenever I'll be doing the entry of general shift, it will be highlighted in green. In the same way, you can highlight all the shifts. Now let's come to left. We'll click just after morning shift. Formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open range. I'll click on very first shift. We'll press shift control down arrow key, right arrow key and all the entry part will be selected. We'll go on top. As I have to drag my formula, so I'll be locking my range by pressing F4 or function F4 one time. Comma, criteria. What we have to count over here? We have to count all my morning codes. My morning code is not visible. So I'll click on morning and through right arrow key, I'll come to right. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got five shifts. Let's do some entry of morning shift and our numbers are getting changed. Perfect. Now I'll click on the formula and we'll copy this. Control C or Command C. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse, paste special formulas. Evening shift, we'll right click the mouse, paste special formulas. Night shift, we'll right click the mouse, paste special formulas. In the same way, I'll paste my formula in leave, absconding and break shift. In all the places formulas got inserted, now let's click just in front of week off. Formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. We'll come to left hand side and we'll click on very first day. We'll press shift control right arrow key and all the days will be selected. Formula is not visible. Let's do one thing. Let's remove the color. Let's insert the formula plus or equal to count if bracket open. We'll come to left. And we'll click on very first day. We'll press shift control, right arrow key and all the days will be selected. Now I'll select my range and we'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged. We'll come to the end, comma, double inverted comma, SAT means Saturday, double inverted comma, close. We'll close the bracket. Now I'll copy my formula. I'm not going to copy is equal to. Control C or Command C. We'll come to the end. Plus, we'll paste my formula. Control V or Command V. In both the places, we have got Saturday. We'll come to the end. We'll remove Saturday and we'll do as Sunday. We'll hit enter. Now we got our week off as 8. Whenever the month will change, let's do as February. Let's come to write. Still we can see 8. But whenever it will be more than or less than 8, numbers will change. Now just notice, we got 10 over here. As I had told earlier, just by changing the months or years, our data is not going to vanish. Only reason we are able to see the data. I'll click on morning shift, we'll press shift control, down arrow key, right arrow key and we'll delete all the entries. We'll come to left, we'll go on top. This sheet is ready now. Let's go to check sheet. We'll click over here. This will be shifts. This will be date, day. Now I'll go to my setting sheet. We'll select all the shifts along with codes and we'll copy this. Control C or Command C. We'll go to check sheet. We'll click just under shifts. We'll right click the mouse, paste special, values. Let's go to duty roster. I'll copy any cell from here. Control C or Command C. We'll go to my check sheet and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Now let's do the entry. Morning shift. 
enter and the color got changed. Let's drag this down. I had changed the color for morning shift and general shift only. Let's delete all this. Delete. Let's do the entry of GS that is general shift and cell got highlighted. Evening shift. It's not getting highlighted because I had applied conditional formatting only for morning shift and general shift. But once the conditional formatting will be applied on all the codes, the codes will get automatically highlighted. Let's put the codes once again. Now I'll go on top. We'll click just in front of date plus or equal to. We'll go to my duty roster and we'll click on very first date. We'll hit enter. We got first date. We'll drag this down. We got Saturday. We'll go to home tab. We'll come in the center. Alignment. Inside alignment, we get the option of orientation. We'll do as rotate text up. Now I'll click on first date. We'll select second date also and we'll drag this till end. We got all the dates. Now I'll click just in front of morning shift. We'll increase the column size so that our formula will be visible properly. Formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open range. I'll be going to duty roster. We'll come to left. We'll click just under first day and we'll select till bottom. As I have to drag my formula, so I'll be pressing F4 or function F4 two times. And dollar will be inserted in the center of our range. Comma, criteria. We'll go to check sheet and we'll click on very first code of morning shift. We'll press F4 or function F4 three times. And this time dollar will be inserted in the very beginning. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We can't see anything over here. Let's go to duty roster and let's do some entry in first. That is MS. Enter. Let's go to check sheet and we can see one over here. Let's adjust the column size. We'll click on one. Now I'll drag this down and we'll drag this till end. We can see zeros over here. I'll press control one. We'll go to custom. We'll remove general from here and we'll do has semicolon has semicolon. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. So all the zeros got vanished. Now whatever entry we will do, we'll do as GS, that is general shift, enter. Let's come to check sheet and we got the figures. And the format of duty roster is ready now. In the same way, you can create your own duty roster.